To ensure nobody gets lost on the tour, let's take a look at a map of the Hellbranch Meadows project area. You can see on the right side of the property, a dark blue line which indicates the original stream corridor with black power lines running overhead of it. The lighter blue color is the newly constructed stream channel and the orange area around it is floodplain restoration area. The dark green color is where we've restored forest and the light green color is where we've restored prairies. The yellow colors are where new wetlands have been built. The red line that's running through the middle of the property is a seasonal tributary that feeds into the Hell Branch Run. Now that you're oriented, please sit back and enjoy your tour. Hi everyone, I'm Kyle Wilson, Conservation Program Manager with Franklin Soil and Water Conservation District, and I'd like to welcome you to the Hell Branch Meadows. property owned by Franklin Soil and Water, located out in the Hell Branch watershed, which is Franklin County's main tributary to state and national scenic river, the Big Darby Creek. Um, over the last few years, uh, we've had the, uh, the privilege of, of seeing a, a large scale stream restoration take place here uh, using funds from the Ohio EPA's WRRSP program. And we'd like to talk to you a little bit about that project here today. Soil and Water acquired Hell Branch Meadows back in 2008. Uh, we used the Clean Ohio Conservation Fund um, and a reduced sale from the landowner to, uh, to acquire the property. But at that time, we really didn't have the resources or funding to do a large scale restoration. So some time went by and uh, we were finally able to locate that uh, potential funding source. And then we brought in uh, the team from Coldwater Consulting um, and, and Chad and, and his group and they kind of helped us through the restoration process. So Jack, could you tell us a little bit about your role in the restoration of Hell Branch Meadows? Yeah, so um, we were um, very excited to be involved with uh, this project. It's definitely one that has been very rewarding. Come with some challenges, that's for sure as well. Yeah, you. But um, yeah, the Water Resource Restoration Sponsorship Program is one that uh, sets out to remove impairments to the aquatic life uses in streams in Ohio. So um, the main the main goal here was to improve the main stem of Hell Branch Run itself. And along with that came um, improvements to the floodplain and the repairing corridor and also the intact uplands that are that are beyond as well to to restore a more healthy full uh, repairing system. And one of the great things that Coldwater did for us in the project beyond obviously the design and engineering um, that, that Franklin Soil and Water doesn't have the capacity to do, is they helped us through that bid process a lot. Uh, as a district, we don't go through those large scale bidding of contracts a lot of times. So to have their expertise involved in that, made sure we were in compliance with, with ORC and, and moving things forward well. So a lot of different components from, from cold water consulting. And now we're just gonna take a look at, at some of the other features that, that we have here at the property. As we approach design here at Hell Branch Meadows, a few of the things we really wanted to look at were the mainstream and its connection to floodplain. Uh, Hell Branch, uh, through this section uh, of property, traditionally was straightened as a ditch um, for drainage purposes for agricultural usage. Uh, so what that created is a very over deepened and over widened trapezoidal channel and it prevented a lot of the different um, features of a natural stream from, from occurring there. So you didn't have any pools or riffle developments. Uh, so one of the main aspects of the project was to reintroduce those uh, back into this property. And Chad, could you tell us just a little bit about what we're, what, what we're looking at here and the importance of, of this habitat? Yeah, so with the, the kind of straightened nature of the stream that was here before, this faster flowing water wasn't really present other than a couple of very small locations. So 
what we did with the, the realignment of the channel was to focus these areas where the stream has some fall to speed the water up in the straight stretches. And then as you can see behind me, you have flatter water in the pools as you go around the bends. So this creates kind of a diverse, um, you know, array of habitat where you have the riffle loving species that are using this faster flowing water and, and other pool loving species that'll use the, the flatter water in the curves. This also helps the stream to uh, focus its deposition and material management. So, you know, if you go down here on the left side of the channel, you can see kind of the background there, that there's, there's some pickerel weed growing and, and that's because the stream is depositing fines there. And uh, as the system matures, uh, it will continue to narrow and, and find an equilibrium so that it continue to move the fines through and, and keep the sediment cleaned out. As Kyle mentioned, the reconnection of the stream with the floodplain is one of the primary goals of the project. With the channel now realigned outside of the AEP easement, we're able to have a, a fully forested system at some point in the future. So that's the end goal here is that down the road, we end up with a healthy forested floodplain that can serve those functions as far as sediment settling out from floodwaters, as well as the habitat and nutrient reduction uh, functions that you get from a healthy active floodplain. And we wanna see this, uh, you know, as a native, uh, tree and shrubs uh, uh, kind of feature here. Uh, you can see behind some chat some sycamore, uh, a lot of different oak species down in here. What else do we have along the stream channel, Chad? Buckeye, uh, cottonwoods, we have some black willows. Uh, <clears throat> there's also some uh, blight resistant American elms that we planted as well. And so shading, shading, shading. We want these, uh, these stream corridors and riparian zones uh, Provide that shade to the stream channel, uh, keep those water temperatures down, and help that habitat alone. In a stream restoration project, when you're creating floodplain, you often have to uh, remove some existing trees uh, from the area where you're constructing that floodplain. And that was the case here at Hell Branch Meadows. Even though we didn't have to remove a lot of vegetation, we had some very nice uh, uh, existing oak trees that were down in that area that was, was set to become the new floodplain for the stream channel. Uh, fortunately, we were able to find a contractor that could come in with a large truck and spade and actually dig and relocate some very large uh, oak trees for us. Uh, this is about a 35 foot shingle oak that was originally down in that floodplain and we were able to bring it up to the upland area here. Uh, we did that with about 17 other trees. So we've got now instantly sort of um, some very nice keystone trees. For those of you familiar with uh, central Ohio, you know that we have a lot of hybrid soils like Kokomoa soils and things like that that hold a lot of uh, moisture and have a high clay content often. Um, traditionally in the area though, uh, those soils have been drained and we've lost a lot of wetland habitat because of that, either for agricultural purposes or during the development of the area. So part of the project we really wanted to focus on in these upland areas was recreating and reestablishing those wetland habitats. And Chad, could you talk a little bit about this wetland and, and sort of the techniques we used to, to reestablish that hydrology here? Yeah, so this was an area that, that was mapped as hydric soils. Um, and so we identified this as a potential restoration wetland. Um, the work that was done here involved minor excavation of, of between zero and 18 inches of soil. Um, there was also a couple of clay tile laterals that were removed here. <clears throat> Once that work was done, the top topsoil that was removed was re-spread in a way that we have varying um, micro pools and high spots and low spots. Micro topography is what we call it. Um, we also added in some uh, large woody debris that you can see here, um, which also provides some of that micro topography. And as it breaks down with time, it will form uh, these, these kind of small high spots where other you know, drier plants will grow and add diversity into the system. These uh, coarse woody debris also provide habitat for amphibians, especially um, frogs and salamanders that can hide under them as they're uh, searching out for prey in these wetlands. 
And recently this summer, uh, during one of our site visits, we had a few visitors to this area, right? Yes, we did. <laughs> we had 22 uh, egrets that were in this wetland. And uh, probably a lot of frogs and toads and uh, tadpoles that those egrets were seeking out. Good day for, for uh, Hell Ranch Meadows, bad day for the frogs. <laughs> We're now joined by Corey Gassaway, our Outreach Program Specialist. And Corey, you've seen a little bit of the uh, restoration effort that, that we have going on here at Hell Branch. What can you kind of anticipate uh, as far as wildlife using these different habitats? Yeah, well, what's great about Hell Branch is we're really rebuilding this habitat from the bottom up. So we're starting with kind of the base of all life, which is these native plants. Those native plants, they provide seeds for birds, uh, they provide pollen and nectar for insects, and also insects will eat the leaves of those plants. And it kind of just keeps working its way up until uh, we have things here like mink uh, that are associated, especially with stream restoration, uh, being around those nice clean waterways. So here we're standing in a section of the tributary that is basically at the bottom of the terrace where the upland area feeds down into the floodplain of Hell Branch Run. Uh, this is a section of, of stream channel that we recognized had a pretty high gradient. So it's, it's kind of pushing the limits of, of what a normal sort of rock bottom, cobble bottom stream channel um, can be stable at. And, and above that you get into more of like step full uh, systems. So <clears throat> in order to have a, a channel that is stable, we have a series of grade control structures here that are meant to hold the channel in place and keep it from down cutting um, during the first you know, several years after construction. And then you can see that there are quite a few uh, willow plantings that are, that are coming up here at the edge of the channel. And with time, uh, these are gonna grow all the way across the channel. And, and when these logs that are making up these structures rot and go away, these willows are gonna be what hold the stream channel together and, and keep the grade from changing over time. So we're here at one of the uh, larger wetlands of the project. This is a, a floodplain wetland and it's the one that we anticipate will have uh, water in it most of the year. Um, you know, typical depths probably 18 inches, uh, maybe up to 24 inches. And Chad, you want to tell us a little bit about why we chose this location and, and what we think this will, will function as? Yeah, so this is one of the, like Kyle said, floodplain wetlands that um, is basically placed in the remnant channel. So the original stream channel for Hell Branch actually came through this area. Um, when the channel was relocated outside of this uh, power line easement, this area was left as a low spot uh, so that when floodwaters come up and out of Hell Branch Run, it can feed into this area. And this wetland will, will serve as a sink for sediment and nutrients. Um, it will also you know, serve as habitat for a variety of wildlife that are utilizing Hell Branch Run and the riparian corridor. Uh, you can see some button bush plantings that were installed, as well as uh, some of the rushes and sedges and grasses that are coming in. This wetland will actually fill in with time. As floodwaters come out of Hell Branch, the bottom will come up and this will turn more into an emergent wetland system as time goes on great sink for some of that sediment coming downstream um, through the system and for floodwaters as well yep so that's a that's our tour of hell branch meadows we we hope that uh we were able to capture some of the really fantastic things that we've been able to do here over the past couple of years we had a great contractor performing uh the restoration and work uh face um uh they they had some really tough conditions to work through uh, right at about the time we started um, moving a lot of dirt out here and, and getting the project underway, we faced some very big storm events um, in the wettest summer on record. So they were fighting that at all times and, and it, it delayed the project and, and, and caused a few headaches, but they did a fantastic job and, and we're really happy with the result here. We'd encourage you to, to contact us if you want to come out and see the property sometime. And uh, we hope you've enjoyed our, uh, your time with us today.